Hello, Steve Bannister here with CW Hayden. Today, we are going to show how to replace the lens and face seal on a 3M M series helmet. This happens to be a M100, connects to TR300, powered air purifying respirator. This product is, as well as the other 3M VersaFlow powered air purifying respirators also use loose fitting hoods, which would be when you get into such a condition where the headpiece is dirty, unusable, this would be a disposable item. With these, this product, the M100 or now M200 are a bump cap uh, for minor head protection. To replace your face seal, you have to first get your replacement parts ready to go. This is a face seal M935. We have those here at CW Hayden for purchase. What you start by doing is removing the face seal. There's an elastic band wraps around connected to, there's a small T here, which this plastic device connects onto. Disconnect the one side. It slides into the bottom of the face shield. Same on the other side. Disconnect. And remove from the T. One part off, as you can see, we need a new one. For the face shield, take this rim off first. That is the seal. When you do close the face seal after, it seals here along the forehead to keep dust from coming down through the top. These two blue buttons push out. And your face shield slides out. Now that you have your mask disassembled, put the new lens in. There's a channel in here that the lens fits into. Sliding it in from the top. Make sure your lens goes into the channel. Slide your blue buttons into place. Snap them tightly. Replace the dust guard. Now for the shroud. The telltale is there is a pull tab for when you are wearing the mask and you want to set the face shield down. What you'll want is you use the pull tab so that'll be on the inside. Simply insert the face seal right around the bottom. Make sure it's evenly dispersed. And completely inserted. Give it a once over. Make sure it's in nice and tight. Then you replace, you can see that well. Then again, this is the T. Here's the slot that you wanna work that into. Come in from the top. Put that on there. That's in securely. The elastic band goes over the top of the plastic, like so. And then just repeat on the other side. There we go. There you have it. All right, now that we have our headgear reassembled and ready to go, attached to our papper, whether you have a three, TR300 or TR600, uh, they should be in the small of your back when they're properly placed, like so. Not on your butt. If it's in the middle of your shoulders, it should be on a backpack. 
attach the airline to your headgear. Headgear to your head. And you're ready to go to work.